hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so now i am doing a reading for scorpio so all my scorpio babies get ready i'm gonna ring the bell to clear the energy and if you're wondering i actually have a few uh, tarot and oracle decks up here this is the hidden truth oracle i'm sure you've heard of it this is just a regular tarot deck this is a love oracle deck this one is called the Good Karma Tarot, and this is the Simplicity Tarot. So I am going to be using a few of these uh, to do your reading. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing, or you can email me for a reading. I will post my email address down in the description bar. And in my cash up is KBay Tarot. Tips are highly appreciated, but not required. I do this for, you know... For fun because it's just my thing and I this is what I love to do so I spend a lot of time doing this um, but if you guys would like a personal reading you know you can always email me if you have any questions reach out to me and I will respond to you as quickly as possible so to get started we are going to start off with our tarot deck here spirit guys uh, do we have what kind of messages do we have for Scorpio today well that one came out quick any messages for Scorpio? Okay, there's another one. Okay. I gotta pick these up real quick. Alright. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Most of these are in reverse here. The queens are in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Page of wands. Eight of swords. Or ace of swords. In the upright position. Okay. So with the queen of pentacles. We are getting here. That there may be like some. Sort of delay going on in your professional. You know your business life right now. Um, so let's. We're going to dive into that a little bit more. Uh, with the queen of cups here this is more like a motherly energy it's like a very nurturing loving energy um let's see what else is spirit trying to tell us uh three of cups celebration happiness um you know collaborating with other people seems like there may be a delay or a lack of uh these things going on right now but with the ace of swords ace always means new beginnings and transformations um you will claim victory and with this page of wands page is usually like the, the messenger of the, the deck um so let's see if we can come up with some more messages some clarification messages for these cards i'm going to be using the love oracle deck and the good karma tarot so let's start with the good karma tarot. I'll set this aside. Can we get some clarification for Scorpio? What is going on with them? What messages do they need to hear right now? What messages do we have for Scorpio? My cards are going all over the place. Okay. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands three of coins i feel like we're getting a lot of threes here a lot of co cooperation with different people another three we have the three of wands and we have the six of swords okay so let's put these together um with the threes we're getting you know like different people like if you look here um at this this uh tarot card i'm sorry yeah this tarot card you see that there's three different people here so there's like some sort of like group or communication that needs to happen some sort of growth you know some creativity that needs to happen um and i feel like it's based on your career something that you are trying to accomplish it could be a new business it could be a job that you're currently at and then we also have the three of wands here with the wands you know that's more of a fire sign it's speedy it's talking about days you know like something that can happen in a few days like you just want this to happen now you want it to happen asap um and the three also re represents you know groups um and community then we have the six of swords which represents uh communication swords are all about mental energy and 
ideas, you know, and they also they represent air signs, ace of wands, new beginnings, uh, new beginnings, and you want these new beginnings to come fast. Okay, so let's do a one card pull for clarification. What is it that's coming to them that they want so fast? Okay. It's money related. You guys are you guys are having issues with your money right now. So I feel like you you want this money energy to come to you. Everything like Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. You know, the Four of Pentacles is also in reverse. And the Four of Pentacles is, is more about stability and manifesting, you know, like this money to come into your life. But Spirit is saying you want these things and you want them fast. But I, we need you to be like a little bit more patient, you know. There might be some money restrictions in your life. Um, so let's, okay, putting all that aside. Let's see what kind of love messages we get for Scorpio. Spirit guys, what kind of love messages do we have for Scorpio? What kind of love messages do we have? I don't think the spirit guys want to talk about love today. What kind of love messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay, I got two cards. Learn to trust. And the other one fell. Let's see. Make the effort and learn to trust. That could also that could be talking about yourself or learning to trust another person. Let's dive into the hidden truth oracle. What kind of messages do we have for Scorpio? What kind of messages do we have for Scorpio? What kind of messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. So the one that we got here is I love you unconditionally. So the person that may be on your mind wants to be trusted by you. They want you to make that effort. You know, they don't want to lose you because they love you unconditionally. All right, let's try to get an outcome card for both of these situations. So what do we have as far as Scorpio money issues? We got the Queen of Swords. And can... Oh, wow. <laughs> King of Cups. There we go. <laughs> so these came out right away. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords, it's more about you being, you know, that that mature person, that stable person, that mothering energy. Um, that's what queens represent. And you know, when it comes to swords, you know, it's like ideas. Um, so it's like your spirit wants you to, you know nurture yourself and sit down and think about any ideas that you may have to come up with this new income or to getting you, yourself out of the situation financially but you do have the power to do it you are the queen you've got this as far as your love life this person wants nothing but to offer you love and spirit is asking you to take you know make the effort trust this person they love you unconditionally and they have a cup of love to offer you so take what resonates and leave what doesn't i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and i look forward to seeing you on my next video thank you guys